like I said, in about four weeks, we'll be releasing some new music. I think everybody's going to be pleasantly surprised. It's going to be heavy. Whatever you thought Whitechapel was heavy before, this is going to redefine that thought. Summer Breeze 2024 hier in der EMP Backstage Club Area und bei uns sind Ben und Alex, das Gitarrenduo von White Chapel. Thank you, thank you. Danke schön. I just saw an amazing video of you from Cologne, having fun in Cologne. What happened there? We're in, you know, Cologne, which is the the home of Kolsch beer. It's not even beer. Don't call it beer. It's beer. It's no beer. It's just Kolsch. <laughs> it's Kolsch. Kolsch. So I had a few few of those, and um, this band was playing on, in the square, and uh, asked if I could play, and I started jamming along with them. It was nice. I couldn't take a day off. He was called for the jam. You didn't, you didn't sell him. You took him back, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But didn't they I'm offer not, enough money? We're going to need him tomorrow night, so, you know, sorry. I mean, you do a great festival run. You played Brutal Assault, you played Wacken. So how is everything going? How is this festival run so far? It's been amazing. Um, you know, we love coming over here for the Euro festivals. They're always a great time. And uh, the fans always come out in big amounts, you know. So it's like, can't ask for more than that, you know. I mean, you're a designated live band, I think. On stage, it's, it's even more brutal and it got even more power. Yeah. So consequently, you've released a live record. Live in the Valley. At your home show, right? Correct. How was that show? It was great. That was a great show, too. Um, you know, I thought that album was really cool as a way to kind of wrap up the Valley and the Kin albums, um, you know, to play them live. Uh, you know, we just played select songs from each from each album, and uh, it was a cool way to kind of, like, document that era of the band, you know? Document that era. Does that mean this era ended? Do you start a new era right now? Uh, you know, we got some... Um, Some tricks up our sleeves for the for the new album. Yeah, it's so. all in the Whitechapel universe. Yeah. But it's a new um it's like more of a back to the roots, brutal sound. But we're taking everything we've learned along the way and yeah. you know, kind of implementing in into. So it is a new sort of era for us. So we kind of took what we learned from our more mature songwriting from the past two albums and um kind of incorporated that with our older sound. So it's like, I don't know, it's just a really great mesh of the brutality from our old sound with like more mature songwriting of our new sound, you know. So all the songs are written? Oh, it's done. The album's done. It's done already. It's okay, done, yeah. so can we expect it this year? Uh, there's going to be a new song next month and then, uh, then the album will drop uh, probably springtime next year. Okay. Any spoilers? Titles or guests or anything? Uh, we'll keep the spoilers at bay for now. But uh, I figured that, yeah. Just in, try in, in due time, you know. Um, like I said, in about four weeks, we'll be releasing some new music. I think everybody's going to be pleasantly surprised. Yeah, looking yeah, forward to be, that. It's going to be heavy. I figured. Whatever you thought Whitechapel was heavy before, this is going to redefine that thought. Talking about this life record again, when you... Put the set list up. Are there a lot of argues going on? Do we have favorite songs and you have favorite songs that everybody wants to bring them live? Or is it pretty easy to get the set list together? Uh, it was pretty easy. Uh, we kind of just focused on the singles from each album, from The Valley and Kin. And then, uh, you know, we threw two old classics on there too. This is Exile and Saws the Law because Those are two fan favorites, you know. Those are two songs we'll be playing till the end of time. So there wasn't, it wasn't hard to come up with the set, you know. It was just which songs from those albums really had the most impact, and we played those. And this show was a benefit show. What benefit was it for? Yeah, so every year uh, we uh, donate part of the proceeds from the ticket sales towards a uh, no-kill animal shelter in our local town. So, uh, you know, it's just our way to kind of help give back to the community. And everybody in the band is animal lovers. So, um, you know, it's just a nice way to kind of like pay a tribute to that. Yeah, very good reason. Do you have cats yourself or dogs? Yeah, I've got a cat. Uh, Savage got a dog. Got a dog. Phil's got a dog. Zach has a cat and a dog. Gabe's got a dog. So everybody's got some kind of animal. <laughs> 
So who's cat and dog sitting when you're on tour? Well, my fiance, it's actually her cat. So, you know, she's taking care of the cat either way. And, you know, he's why usually just our significant others are taking care of the kids and the dogs and the cats. <laughs> yeah. Next time you got to bring more photos. Yeah, right. Of your animals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You've played Summer Breeze before. Mm -hmm. So do you like the festival here? Yeah, I mean, I, when, you know, whenever we get offers for Summer Breeze, I know that that's going to be, like, a huge festival, you know. Some of the festivals, they, um, they vary in the amount of people, but I always know that Summer Breeze is going to be massive. It's one of the biggest ones. So uh, every time we get an offer for this festival, I'm really excited for it. Thank you, guys. Whitechapel! Thank, Thank you. you.